Today's recipe is best served with crusty bread to help soak up the very last drop. Howard shows us how to make split pea soup in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. As the weather starts to cool down, we start craving anything that's cozy and comforting. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to knit a sweater, but I do have a recipe that will warm you up from the inside out. It's a classic one-pot split pea soup that's always welcoming. We start by adding some dried split peas to a soup pot filled with water. Now, if you're not familiar with cooking dried peas, this is a great way to get started. They're economical, and as they cook, they naturally thicken up the soup. To this, we throw in some ham that we chopped. This will add some smokiness. Now, we add some potatoes, chopped onions, carrots, and celery. And for the part that gives this its richness, we add in some chicken bouillon or chicken base, along with a bit of black pepper. All that's left to do now is let it simmer for about an hour or so. One spoonful is all it takes for those warm and cozy feelings to set in. Serve it up with a side of crusty bread for Dunkin'. That way you'll get every last drop. To get the recipe for our classic split pea soup, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a cozy and comforting way mm -hmm. for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Well, you can find this recipe along with a lot more good food from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen online. Just go to our website at koamnewsnow.com.